Hey everyone, Aninda here and today we are looking at Nokia Lumia 630, the company's first dual SIM Windows phone device. Okay, And this phone uh, running on uh, Windows version 8.1 preloaded. This is the company's first phone which supports dual SIM and that's to uh, active dual SIM support. So first things first guys, as you can see we are using a wallpaper at the background and that's because we are running the Windows 8.1 update. So on this sign update what we can do is uh, we can use our specific wallpapers or even the preloaded wallpapers even at the background of the tiles. So what you want to do is just go to settings over here, start on theme and uh, here we have lots of theme color even uh, you can use a light color or the dark color when you can select the colors over here and next we can do is select the wallpaper which is pretty cool and uh, over here we can select our the preloaded ones from here and even you can select the ones which you like from your gallery or the photos over here you can see that this phone supports this three row of icons and uh, you can uh, just enable or disable this like this uh, on this phone this is the first time we are seeing the navigation keys of this windows back and search is on the screen itself over here uh, we can see that uh, it's a dual sim icon over here and if you just swipe down we'll see that uh, now over here we have this toggles just like android and uh, we can directly go to all settings from here we can change the brightness to low medium or high uh, lock as well we can select in the wi-fi as well we can uh, see where i got uh, some whatsapp notification we can just read it from here or we can just swipe over like this even we can do the same over here or we can just press that clear all buttons and we can directly go to settings from here as well next i will talk about the specification of this phone so this nokia lumia 630 runs on a quad core snapdragon 400 chipset which is the same one which we are seeing on galaxy grand 2 or moto g but this phone is only 512 mb of ram so that's why lots of games will not support i wish nokia could have implemented the one gig of ram over here that would have been a killer for that price range this phone also comes with a 5 megapixel camera at the rear but no LED flash and a Nokia logo and a speaker grill over here and at the top we have this uh, headphone 3.5 millimeter audio jack at the side we find this volume rockers as well as this power button which acts as a uh, camera button as well nothing at the side and uh, if you press this uh, back button it will show all the running applications like this and we can just uh, swipe down to exit any application or you can use this cross to do the same so this is the lock screen guys uh, even you can keep your wallpapers and it will show all the uh, reminders as well as all the current events and or any notifications over here just swipe up to unlock all right guys next i'll be showing you the dialer and uh, the keyboard so this is the dialer guys this is the windows 8.1 dialer and uh, over here we have this uh, sim selection Let's write the number and you can toggle just in between like this uh, so this is the windows 8.1 keyboard guys and uh, as you can see it looks really good it really looks good and uh, over here we have the sim selection as well you want to um, dial i mean send the message from the sim one and select this one down from the sim 2 then select this one and the keyboard is really good there is a vibration of the feedback going on in the background and uh, this keyboard also supports this uh, swipe type of writing let me just show you this phone's gpu is adreno 305 so expect a great gaming experience so for that i'll just play asphalt 8 on the later part of the video and will show you but for now i will just show you the anti to benchmark benchmark scores are over here it's 11,840 which is pretty good for the phone of this caliber okay guys uh, this is the camera of this uh, windows phone lumia 630 let me just show you and uh, it has this auto focus touch to focus and just press this and it takes a photograph like uh, photo settings video settings like this and over here we have this show this option in viewfinder resolution camera lens speaker scenes iOSO all these things okay if you want you can use this iOSO button over here if you, know, you can shoot this uh, camera roll over here okay even uh, I'll show you the video settings 
and uh, guys uh, over here as you can see this phone has a capability to shoot up to 720p not 1080p right and this is the picture which we just shot and as you can see the picture came out to be very clear and sharp and over here we have this burst mode kind of thing which uh, which can shoot burst mode up to uh, unlimited pics I guess and it's very fast so let me just show you see over here as you can see there are some numbers uh, increasing which means it's it's just taking the shot let me just show you now here you have this burst and uh, it has got all the pics which you just shot which is around 55 or so see if you press this it will show us all these uh, lenses like uh, 4 blend HDR cam scanner HDR photo camera, Bing Vision, HDRX, Nokia camera, Cine, Nokia Cinegraph, Nokia Panorama, Refocus, everything all this thing. Refocus is just like an editing software which will uh, enhance the refocusing like uh, you want to uh, blur the background and to sharpen the foreground. You can do that with this application. Okay guys, now I will show you some of the tips and tricks about this phone. First up. Uh, if you want to use this Cotton app and if you are living in India, the currently Cotton is not available in India but the easiest way to activate this Cotton is to uh, go to this settings. Over here it says like language, select, add, click on add language and select English United States. Speech should be English United States. This region should be English United States. At first it will be like India. Okay. and if you do this it will ask for a restart so restart your phone and you will get this cotton application so let's just uh, fire it up and see distance from earth to moon two hundred and thirty eight thousand eight hundred and fifty five miles what is two plus two Who is your daddy? Technically speaking, that'd be Bill Gates. No big deal. As you can see, this application works just fine. Our next tips and tricks which I'll show you is that you can uh, download any application or games and you can uh, save those applications on your SD card. So over here we have this uh, storage sense. Just click on this. And uh, it says like, uh, we have to put new videos, new music and we can select this from our SD card even we can use this for photos okay and even we can do this for new applications we can select SD card or phone and store new downloads to SD card we can just move any application to SD card directly from here the easiest way to do is that click on the application which you want and you can do this to move to SD card um, but it says like the publisher only doesn't allow it to be moved but we can do that in any other application which allows that okay but uh, and over here um, let me just show you that uh, big games like asphalt 8 and so are there on my SD card and it says like move to phone so guys this is the music player of this one it's called uh, Nokia mix radio and for copyright reasons I have turned down the volume fully and currently Nokia is thinking to port this mix radio to Android and iOS devices as well. Next I will show you this normal music player and one thing to tell you guys that music quality is really excellent on this speaker, really excellent. And uh, though it looks really small but the music clarity and the bass and the loudness is really great. This is the video application, video this one, this is a default video player. It's called Xbox video and it will show like uh, which was the last uh, video you saw and you can resume it from here as well directly just like this because there is a battery saver built in on this Windows 8.1 it's called battery saver only uh, let me just show you this actually a firewall kind of a thing and which we can allow this app to run in background or not it's a really great option i wish google do this in their future 
even we can uh, do this for Cortana as well every any application uh, where we have a settings uh, it shows like battery life estimated battery life last charge it says like 12 hours battery saver is on everything data sense is also there let me just see this data sense how much of data you are using this is like 14 gigabyte via Wi-Fi now let me just go ahead and show you as well date So that's asphalt light running great on this Nokia Lumia 630 and last but not the least which are the final thing which I'll show you is that which I actually forgot to show you that this files application. So this is the first time we are seeing a file manager on a Windows phone device and that's really great to see okay uh, over here we can see it's a file manager and we can select the phone application and we can just check out which are the stuff we have downloaded and now uh, we can just select our SD card we can just navigate each and everything over here okay and we can add remove we can send everything this is the internet browser which uh, this ships in and uh, one important thing to say is that this browser finally has the download download uh, songs or videos or pics capability at first we used to see that if you want to download any video or a song it will just play it right over there on the browser itself but for the first time we can download that specific song or a video to our phones internal or external or anywhere you want that's just for your likings but this browser has a capability to do, do that and that's really great to see thing I sh also want to show you is this maps application which Nokia is really proud of okay so this is a really great map application and uh, with this maps with this map application even uh, you can this you can just download the whole map of your city and you can just do a uh, means uh, navigation or you can just roam around you can just check out the maps or the nearest places or pizzas or restaurants or any shop or anything like that even if your sim and wi-fi is turned on if any of sim card is not there on the phone but you can do that you can just uh, navigate using it's totally offline navigation and that's really great i wish one day uh, we see google maps do the same right and phone call capabilities and battery life everything is just great and uh, i'm getting around uh, one day of full usage even on a single charge that's really great and uh, so that's it guys and it's a really great smartphone and this price is around 10,000 Indian rupees which is around uh, 180 US dollars uh, it's a really cool phone with all the features you can want from a Windows phone device it's really a great update Windows 8.1 so that's it guys that's it for this review I hope you like it on the sales package you won't get the microphone so you need to buy that separately so that's it guys thanks for watching this is only though take care